The game in three words, I'd probably say, you will die. It's really going to challenge you. Probably some controller throwing moments. <laughs> sum up God's Will Fall in three words. Tension, challenge and satisfaction. Your job is to, to go into the realm and defeat the God and, and then go on to the next realm and do the same. A ragtag band of warriors that set sail across the uh, distant seas to try and find the gods that have been ruling over these Celtic warriors for so many years. They're complete underdogs with only eight of them left alive, but they still have a job to do, and that is to destroy these gods. In the game, there are 10 gods, and these are pretty unique gods. There, there is no kind of, you'll, you'll see no reuse between them. They're all very different. We have these flying gods with blades for wings, and we have these bone spider. They're all extremely different and varied. You set foot in a realm, you're in the gods' home. None of them are gonna share any attacks between them. Um, and when they uh, do have attacks, they, they do hit extremely hard. All of the gods are built around this idea of them being responsible for having created something in the world that uh, the Celts need to be thankful for. Everything was built around an element of nature. Osseus, the god of uh, bone and sinew, he created bones, this white wood as the Celts refer to it, and he gifted it to all living things. And he expects that white wood to be returned to them by burying their bones and letting them cross back to him across the seas of time. So therefore the whole world that we built for that god is now starts off on a beach across the seas of time on the Ostiol shores, where all of these bones are washing up and slowly returning to that god. So you work your way through the realm and you kill your vassals and the creatures and you can finally get to the boss and there's no breather, you, you don't get a chance for a rest here. They straight into the fight and these are tough gods. If you're not paying attention, two hits, you'll be, you'll be dead. They don't hang around. Some of them might not even let you get close to them to begin with. We've uh, got one that uh, certainly tries to uh, hit you from afar before you even get close to a fight. And you see an awful lot of people not even making it up to within striking distance of these gods. Some are definitely harder than others, depending on your style of play and style of attack. And you have these different warrior types. So there might be a particular god that you can beat easily when you're playing as the nimble, faster warrior type with the dual wield. But if you're if you're down to your last guy and you've only got your chunky guy that's a bit slower, maybe maybe a god that, that you find easy normally is really hard. And that's all part of the challenge of the game. So the combat system has been designed to be extremely easy to pick up. Just got a simple system of light attacks and heavy attacks, and then even your dash ability, which you can use to avoid enemy attacks, can also be used to parry their weapons and open them up and exploit them for a grab and a throw. We have uh, this uh, bloodlust or raw system in the game, which is how you, as a player, can kind of rebuild your health. So you're, you're working your way through the dungeon. You might receive a couple of attacks and you're down to your last pip of health. If you then snot a few enemies quickly in a row and you kind of you, 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 you do a good couple of attacks or you maybe block with a parry, you build up what's what we call bloodlust. And that's something that you can then convert into health. I think it's very easy to get stuck in the mindset of uh, if you've just failed on a dungeon, the, you immediately want to get stuck straight back into it. So you, you quickly snatch at grabbing another warrior and sending them back in. But part of the uh, design basis of Gods Will Fall has been this idea that think carefully and make careful choices about some of these things. Just, just blindly going into each dungeon and, and you know, like trying and trying, uh, I, I think you need to take a step back and then try a different dungeon, a different realm. Make sure you, you, you take your time. You, it's, not, it's definitely not the kind of game to go in all, all guns blazing, kind of gung-ho, mashing, mashing buttons. It's definitely a kind of take your time, look at it, like assess each enemy's attacks, make sure that 
you kind of you, you know the type of attack you're going to be seeing before you kind of waltz in and because you it's very difficult you might just one one or two false moves and you're dead